Hi, it's September the 20th, 2021. The last time I visited East Kirkby was on the 1st of this month. So it's good to be back and I'll be checking out the progress on the restoration. I do have a few video shops from the 1st of September to show you. Then we will jump three weeks to today. The With the skins removed you can see the damaged strings on the underside of the French wing. Phil is removing a patch where the APU exhaust came out. I didn't know there was an APU on the Lancaster until I read a comment by Peter W on video 108. Towards the end of this video, John has more information and an interesting story about the APU. John's removing skins from the downward identification lines. From John. That's what the flare shoot. Oh, it's what? Yeah, it goes. It goes there. On the floor. John's pointing out where the flare chute sits on the floor plan. Now back to today, 20th of September 2021. Morning Phil. Hello. Morning, Morning John. <coughs> yes, thanks. Here. Oh, that's a good name from his diaphragm. Yeah. Uh, they are, that's right, they either call them uh, web, web plates, intercostals or diaphragms. Um, have you made these in the house? Uh, Keith has made these. The, oh, is he? Uh, the yeah. who's doing the fin tip made them. So these are, uh, at the moment, these are just um, fresh plates. And each one now, John's going to have to um, uh, adjust it to fit the... Um, the, the floor, is it? The floor, yeah. Because yeah. they've, actually, they've actually, in the floor, they're, they're at that angle like that. Obviously, so John's just got to take a bit off the front and the back to get the angle right. Yeah. On uh, to make sure they sit right. There you go. There's a, there's a good example. Of, um, that's an original one there. You can and you can yep. see this is the back of the Lancaster is at an angle. John's going to have to take that. Shape to, that. Yeah. Uh, shape that to fit. Yeah. 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 Oh, good. What are these called, John? Are these called webs? Diaphragms or intercostals? Intercostal. Intercostal. I see you made a floor jig for where the formers go now. Yeah, that's the bottom one done. Yeah. It's not ideal. I'd, I'd, I'd really like a one piece one, but I couldn't find any, any material long enough. No. So I've had to join it in the middle, but it, it, it'll work. Yeah, that's the join, is it? That blue one. The, the, the one at the top is, is, is dead straight, but the one at the bottom has actually got a slight curve on it. So, oh, is it? Yeah, I'm on the drawing. Um, yeah, on, on, on the drawing, you have a line at the bottom that gives you distances from that line up to the bottom of each former. So what I had to do was outside there, line of chalk on the floor, Measure draw it. all out and then join it up and look along it and get that to curved and then get that and bend it and put it along. Same curve. shape as, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's it's worked. Yeah. yeah. Let's get in the skins fitting now, are you on the... Yeah, doing the patches, doing the last one. Yeah. That big old thing. Yeah. Um, 
the big skin rug across the other, the other side that Les was doing. Yeah. He started riveting that on Thursday. Oh, he got it painted yeah. and... Oh, yeah, yeah it's, all, it's all painted. So on a job like this, whereabouts do you start riveting? In the middle and work middle. out? In the middle and work out, yeah. 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 Find out where the centre is, work close enough. There's that middle, middle line of rivets there. Work on the middle. Uh, yeah. It goes down, middle out, top, middle out, and then have the, oh. keep doing that line and then go to that yeah. line and then just spread out and yeah. be the top and bottom and be the, be the last ones to do. Yeah. It just stretches the skin. If, if, if you started riveting there and started riveting there, when you got into the middle, you might have too much skin. Yeah, you know? have a bit of a bulge, yeah. And you can't get it in. And you'd if, get if, that. If you work it out to, to the edges, it. it yeah. It, it strains it out and it, yeah. because it's not perfect because you know the structure and underneath is slightly distorted. Yeah. Yeah. Because of what, because of what but happens. it certainly it's, it's certainly going to look a good job when you've got it finished. Oh, yeah. it, it looked absolutely it spot looked on, the job though. altogether. Coat of black paint, you never, never see all of it. No. Well, what about have they had um, a 3D scanner on the Lancaster not yet. yet? No, not yet. We're still waiting. Yeah. And once you've got that done, how long would it take you? Do you think to make oh, gosh. the four I, I, formers? I really would you make know. them here? No. 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 Um, Andrew's going to be talking to a company near Blackpool. Yeah. They actually CNC machine them. Yeah. So we, we, we'll get it scanned. Um, the people that do the scanning will interpret the information and produce measurements of each yeah. former. Then we'll have to look at that because the information they'll have will be the complete former. So to make the wooden former, to make that, it would have to be slightly smaller to take in um, consideration the thickness of the metal. Yeah. And because the metal the metal goes round the former. If your former is the same size yeah. of what what you want to make, it'll be too big. Yeah. So you've got to you you've got to take that into consideration. And then we send that information to the CNC machining people. They'll make them and bring them back here, we'll inspect them, measure them again, yeah. and then we'll send them down to Simone and she'll bang them out. Oh. Will you make them in four pieces or two? Um, not sure at the minute. Yeah. Not sure. It wouldn't really matter on this particular model, no, would it? It, 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 it? it was done in four originally. It's Canadian. Yeah. Um, we're not sure whether it it was done for this one or every Canadian one that's done it. So we wait for information from the, the chaps at Windsor um, who are doing yeah. Castro and from Canadian Warplane Heritage to see if theirs are the same. Yeah. 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 So that, so that means that if, if theirs is the same as this one, it means we can use the same technique on our real back end. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a, it's a recognised technique then. Yeah. It, it's it's a lot easier to make it in four than it is to make it in. Yeah. Two big arms. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit complicated. Yeah. You know, you, you know when you got, when you got a form and it's sort. Of, Sort of curves down like that. Yeah. It's easier than one. Month. Yeah. Great big huge thing. Yeah. No. Oh. So that's good progress then. Uh, we, we are progressing. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, be in tomorrow. Yeah. And you got this back end started. Well, yeah, we come to a grinding autumn on that one. Um, what because of the just Jane's ski. Yeah, because we got bits missing. We got the two castings for the, the, the glider towing, and they got two tubes which go from the casting yeah. out to the top of the ring. Yeah. Um, we've got to make sure they fit before we do anything any, anything more to that, because that was all bent and twisted. Yeah. Keith's had a go at it uh, and straightened it out, but we've got to make sure that those, those two tubes actually fit, because yeah. you, you can't adjust them. No. So it, it, if, if we stick, when, when oh, we take, take the turret off, we can take the castings out, we can take the tubes out, fit them to this, make sure it fits 100% and then we can start moving yeah. them together. Will you have time between taxi and or will you wait till November now? November. Yeah. Th this was supposed to be going on this winter but it, it's not now. Oh, isn't it? No, no. no. We're, going, we're going to do it the winter after. Yeah. There's not going to be enough time. 
Yeah. Because um, you know, fit, fitting all them formers is going to take some time because there won't be the cutouts for the stringers in it. No. we have got to do all of that, fit it, make sure it's right. Yeah. Because if, if this collapses, it... it, it yeah. You can't the have this. The rest of the airframe suffers as well. So yeah, it's, it's got to be hundred percent. Yeah. So, uh, what progress will you make this? Um, I'd offer no. to tear it off. Yeah. To get to get at the the stuff yeah. we want for the um, for the braces. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I mean, you have got your wingtip finished yet? Yeah. Yeah. What do you, what's waiting so on you? But the holder thing is is the. Um, Perspex for the navigation line. You've got to have that fitted to make sure that your, your, the top rib is, is in the right position to, to hold that and in the right position to do your, your wooden end sweep, as we call it. Yeah. So um, we've, we've got some, we've had some made, but they're twice as thick as the original. Mm, not good then? No, that's not good. No. Yeah. Apparently they couldn't get the, the Perspex of the, of, of the right thickness, so they they went one mil thicker. Right? Makes all the difference, one mil. Well, they say it's one mil, but it's twice as thick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's more than one mil. Yeah. So oh. we're having great difficulty in, in yeah. doing that. So what, what Keith's doing is using the old one, as we took the old ones away as a pattern. He's using the old one to yeah. make sure it's all in the right yeah. place and we get some more money. Take yeah. Anyway, this uh, this the skin on this is seems to be progressing. Is Phil making that piece yeah, he took off at the top? Yeah, Phil's making the top, the thin, the thin one at the top. Yeah. Where it's got that hole, that, that cut yeah. out where the um, exhaust for the APU. Was. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, what sort of APU did it have on then? It's a, um, a, a petrol engine. Generators. Whereabouts was the generator? Where was it sat? It sat on top of the tailplane. Oh, what? No, this is during the war. During the during, war? During the war and, and post war. Yeah. Um, the navy was fitted, but it was only for use on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it wasn't for use in the air. No. Yeah. So, where was this exhaust ca came out? You see, you see the little square in that skin? Yeah. That, that's where the exhaust came out. Oh. It had a, had a little sort of scoop which directed it yeah. uh, so backwards. and it was just a little petrol engine generator yeah. hmm. pop, pop, probably the full start yeah but it was only used on the ground yes yeah we got we've got the instruction plate well Jack why was it only used on the ground because it was dangerous yeah that's Very what dangerous. i was thinking yeah, yeah. If, if, if you remember um when they tried to recover that uh, b29 Keyboard from Greenland. Yeah. Kind of um, done a wheel down landing then had been abandoned. Uh, they got all that and ready, changed the engines, changed the propellers, did lots of lots of work on it, changed the tyres, everything like that. And it was had, it's got an APU in the back in the rear fuse. Yeah. And they were taxiing around, just taxiing, but they didn't have a cap on, on the fuel tank mm -hmm. on, the, on the APU and it caught fire. Destroyed the aircraft. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's I'm learning. Yeah. Every time I come, I pick something up. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they, they probably fitted it so they could fire it up when it was on the ground and yeah. not wanted to um, use use the electrics in, yeah. in the aircraft rather than draining the batteries. Yeah. And they, they wouldn't have in in those days what we now, now call hooching. Which is a, a big generator on wheels that you plug into the aircraft. And yeah. You see, you, you, you yeah. see me constantly. So I've got, got that where it is in the aircraft. You strike it up now, you've got the power there. Yeah. You're not draining the, 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 the aircraft. Yeah. Oh. Well, oh, thanks, John. That was a good talk. I like that. <laughs>